Hi, and welcome to Tetrionics University. This is a Facebook web page put up to act as a blog for explaining and exploring tetrionic theory. Firstly, what is tetrionic theory? It is a unified theory of everything. And by everything, I mean that it unites classical, quantum, and relativistic theory in order to combine physics, chemistry, biology, cosmology, electrical theory, and even music into a single, coherent, geometric theory. It uses equilateral geometries to prove that the math of modern physics can be related back to a more fundamental geometry, or in fact arises from that fundamental geometry, and if necessary, correct its assumptions and other postulates. It is Tetrionic theory itself is based on a single postulate, just one, from which everything else in the e-books that you'll see and read and have me hear me explain arises. And that postulate is that everything in our universe, material and immaterial, is made up of equilateral Planck quanta, as illustrated on the picture you can see before you now. Each quantum coin, as I term it, has a positive and a negative charged face, either side like heads or tails. And the interaction of countless quantum coins makes up the fields of mass energy that we, we feel, that exert forces throughout the universe, and go on to make up 3D particles of matter the quantum of which is a tetrahedral chunk, a closed volume, a topology, which I term a tetrion. It's not to be found in any of your textbooks. It's a unique subatomic particle, hence the name tetrionics. It's relating to the charged geometry of mass, energy, and particularly matter. The material and immaterial aspects of nature around us. These equilateral quanta or coins when combined as illustrated in the center of this picture form fields of mass energy and particular of note is that these equilateral fields have squared number quanta within them. Each row left to right of that central illustration is a squared number. Each, each level is an odd number and they all sum to form squared numbers. 1, 4, 9, 16, etc. Are all the result, all those squared numbers are the result of odd number quanta. 1 plus 3 is 4. 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9, etc. And this is clearly illustrated within tetrionic theory. It's the basic fundamental geometric activity you need to wrap your heads around as you delve further into the theory. Tetrionics is a new paradigm. It's a new way of understanding physics and nature itself from the ground up. Everything we observe and, and feel, sense in the world around us is made up of these equilateral Planck quanta. What tetrionic theory isn't is that it isn't a pseudoscience. It's firmly grounded in science. Most of the math you'll see on the pages is um, classical math, Newtonian math if you like, with a touch of relativistic math as we get more and more advanced but it's a completely new geometric reinterpretation of what you've been taught you'll rarely see us see spheres except uh, perhaps circles where we measure uh, spatial coordinates in light seconds etc or light years for the larger scale it's not a religious teaching as some people are, are off 
to quip on the internet although aspects of sacred geometry certainly do appear the star of david where we superimpose two equilateral triangles for example the she uh, yantra and the sh and the chakra where we can relate those sacred geometries to the charged quantum topology of the elements themselves and their energy levels so some of the the spiritual quasi religious teachings certainly do appear but they're not the foundation of tetrionics the foundation again is this equilateral quantum of mass energy the, the plank coin it's not vortex mechanics Walter Russell etc although aspects of Walter Russell's work can most certainly be explained we can explain spirals and vortices we can explain gravitational attraction and the mechanics of, of universal gravitation without time etc we can in fact cover and explain all the laws of nature using nothing more than these triangles in fact you will see that I produced templates so that as you follow this work along you can in fact make models of electromagnetic fields to understand how Coulomb's law works you can make models of material particles of matter so that you can see how the deuterium atom works like an ele a quantum electrical device nanotech scaled even further down in order to make all the elements and how we can use aspects of this knowledge to create very advanced technologies for ourselves. this isn't the the scientific dogma you have been taught although there are aspects of this the science that you have been taught in here namely the basic mathematics and corrected mathematics as I reveal and explain it and the outcomes how these triangles of energy form matter that form all the the physical and non-physical features that we observe around us and explain how they actually work there's no supposition everything I say in, in tetrionic theory has to be able to be made physically using the paper models this harks back to the days of Faraday and Maxwell who were ardent, ardent supporters and proponents of being able to make a physical model of any mathematical theory in my case it's a geometric theory but mathematics is secondary or emergent from this geometry and no doubt in the years to come some mathematicians will grab the geometric work I've produced for everyone and explained in these series of blogs and advance it even further beyond beyond what I'm capable of and that will be an exciting day indeed because from that we will be able to extrapolate further but this time based on a solid tangible geometric basis tetrionic theory in short is a bottom-up theory it builds upon these small quantum coins and builds all the fields and particles of nature to explain them whereas mathematics and modern theory uses the mathematics to extrapolate to base to, to develop assumptions based on what the mathematics describes and then go further from there you'll see many time over and over in the illustrations as we work through them where assumptions have been put into place that don't quite hold true they look and they sound fine but when tested with the physical reality of the paper models they fail that's when tetrionics has and I myself had to go back and understand in an entirely new way how nature was really achieving what it is that we see and describe using modern science tetrionic theory is probably unique in that it's based on this equilateral energy geometry and certainly I know of no other theory out there that has 
equilateral geometrics as the basis of the theory itself and certainly none that can explain all aspects of chemistry, biology, physics, etc. using one quantum of energy. This quantum of energy, the equilateral mass energy momenta that you see here on the centre of the page is what describes all the fields of force it's a zero, either side, left and right, are zero point fields as you'll see them in, in various literature around the world. They are the smallest quantum of energy, hence mass energy, mass energy momenta that can be created. They're the source of charge at the quantum level and they produce forces on the minute scale quantum level right through to forces between stars and galaxies that that don't require or are time invariant there is no time component to their action between them yet there's an equal and opposite reaction they act and react all the time it's a geometric theory it's not a mathematical theory as i've said it models the physical reality using geometry it doesn't use mathematical treaties assumptions uh, or extrapolations of existing math models to explain things. It presents a complete picture of the physics and the laws of nature as we see and observe them. And I thank you for your time in, in firstly finding tetrionic theory. Those of you that are familiar will no doubt be excited by the fact that we finally have a university site where I can clearly elaborate on all my ideas. Um, and those that are new to it, I hope I explain it in a way that's clear and consistent so that you can follow my ideas right through to the inevitable conclusions that I've made. If you want to enter into any discussions or ask questions, feel free to do so on the Tetrionic Facebook or Google Plus communities. Um, there's heaps of room there for th to create threads and topics and I'll attend to them and answer them as fast as I possibly can. I am only one person trying to do the illustrations, develop the theory, produce these blogs, and also develop practical devices that can then prove tetrionic theory beyond a shadow of a doubt. Thanks for your time, and I, I hope you enjoy the journey as much as I have in discovering it.